book friends. It's Jenny at Julia Baby Jen's Reading Room and today I'm going to be talking about reading Cassandra Clare. Okay, so uh, again I'm back on my channel. Yay! Uh, this is going to be my series of videos that's celebrating my birthday on May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. I'm running a series of videos from May 1st through the 5th, so check out my channel every day to see a new video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about some reading goals I had for this year. So, um, at the beginning of the year I like to make a lot of uh, resolutions, and most of them are reading resolutions. This year though, I didn't make a ton of them. Um, mainly, I, I made a list of books that I really would like to read this year. I know I won't read them all, but I'm hoping I can get to them. A lot of them are the, some of these books on the shelves behind me. But I also wanted to get caught up on some of my favorite authors. The last few years I've been really bad about like reading their new books right when they come out, and I've gotten behind. And so I have five authors this year that I would really like to get caught up on. And what that means is I want to have read every book that they've written, that I haven't read yet, and any new releases that come out this year as well. Um, and one of those authors is Cassandra Clare. Um, I've been in the past so great about reading the books as they come out, and the last couple years I have not been so great. And it kind of started with Queen of Air and Darkness. So I was so excited for Queen of Air and Darkness to come out. This is the third book in the Dark Artifices series. Um, my bestie Karen actually was going to a Cassandra Clare event in her area and she was able to buy an extra book or tickets let her buy two books so she was buying one for herself and so I sent her money so she could buy me a book and get my book signed so she then sent it to me and let's see, I'll show you and there's my Cassandra Clare signature and I was so excited like I'm like I've never met her I don't know if I'll ever get to but at the very least I have a signed book to me from Cassandra Clare which I was super excited about but I had no idea what a brick <laughs> this book was going to be I should have known uh, her books are not usually that short and I don't mind a big book in fact I love big books but this was like I was like holy crap this could have been three books uh, this book was, I think, close to 900 pages. Let me check here. Uh, 880 pages. So I was like, sheesh. So the thing with Cassandra Clare is if you don't read them in publication order, sometimes they're spoilers, even if it's a different series. And so I was like, well, I can't move on without reading Queen of Air and Darkness. Well, I end up, ended up reading, um, oh, what was the book? I'll show it here, the title, because I forget it. But it's the one with Jem Carstairs, and it's the Bind Up of All the Novellas. And that actually came out after this. And so I read that, and I thought, oh, well, it's a bunch of novellas that was shorter, and I really wanted to read it, because I love Jem. And, of course, there was a ton of spoilers for this in that book. Oh, Jenny. So, anyway, I, I finally... I made a list of the books I haven't read by Cassandra Clare. I'm like, I'm going to read them this year. Well, guess what? I've already read this. <laughs> I read this, um, I think, in February, I think is when I read this one. And I absolutely loved it. It was fantastic. I actually flew right through it. I knew I would. Um, five stars. Just loved it. Great ending to the series. So, so happy. So, once I got done with that, I'm like, oh, yay. That's going to make the rest of my list so much easier. So I still have three books to read by Cassandra Clare. I still have Chain of Gold, which I'm so excited to read. The Infernal Devices is my favorite Cassandra Clare series. I've heard this one's even better. This is a follow-up to it, and I just cannot wait to read this series. So I have that one, and then Chain of Iron that just came out, the sequel. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm hoping to read these sooner rather than later. And then I also have um, The Lost Book of the White, which is the second book in The Eldest Curses. I really enjoyed the first one, so I'm excited to get to this one. And then I think the third one comes out in November. So if that's true, then I'll try to read that before the end of the year. 
So that will make four more books left for me to read. So really that's not too many. I think I can do this and I'm hoping to do it rather soon because I really would like to binge these two books and just read them straight through. I can't wait to read them and I can't wait to continue on with Magnus and Alec. I love, love the first one so I'm really hoping I will like the rest of the series too. So, so that's one of my reading goals for this year. Uh, to get caught up on Cassandra Clare and then I'll be so excited because I've never been as behind as I have been now. And it doesn't seem like that many books, but for me, it's a lot of books because usually I'm way up on Cassandra Clare and it's, oh, it just drives me nuts that I'm not right now. So hopefully by the end of the year, I'll be all caught up. So let me know down in the comments if you have any uh, reading goals you'd like to share with me that you're working on this year or what you think of Cassandra Clare. If you have any questions, if you've never read her and want to and don't know where to start. Um, I love the Shatterhunter universe. It's one of my favorite fandoms. I, I think it gets better with each book, honestly. I mean, there's so many books out now, you think that it'd be getting old, but it never does. Like, it gets better every book. She just takes it up to a new level, I feel like. So, so, so yeah, just let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. And I hope your cup is always full. Talk to you later. Bye.